Adam Bentall of Appleton will be laid to rest this weekend. His funeral is planned for Saturday at 11 o'clock at Fox Valley Christian Fellowship Church. Visitation is set for Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. at Valley Funeral Home and Saturday from 9 to 11 at the church. Bentall's family says Adam was a tissue and bone donor and his gift will help the lives of up to 100 people. NBC26's Aaron Crest is live at 6 now with more on the life of Bentall and the many lives he touched. Bentall was said to have said to love walks in the wilderness, camping excursions, and all the time he could spend with family and friends. Sadly, his life was taken prematurely, but not before he was able to leave a special gift for some strangers. Those who knew Adam Bentall describe him as a kind and gentle person, full of life, with a bright personality. You know, his mom has mentioned how much of a giving person he was. In his teenage years, he would share those qualities on a mission trip to Argentina with his church's youth group. To help people spiritually, you know, I think that spoke about his, again, desire giving. And even after his life was taken too soon by a lone gunman on the Trestle Trail in Menasha. He loved being outdoors and, and experiencing God's creation. He's found a way to give to others in Wisconsin even in death. Every day about 75 people get organs and 21 people die waiting. Because he was a donor, Bentall's tissue and bone were given to a local hospital where he'll continue to change lives. The biggest thing is the tissue for people who get burned. They can help give tissue back to them. Because when tragedy attempts to turn a community upside down, you hear of stories like this, how one man can change the lives of so many. In Adam's death, many are now being able to live a fuller life or maybe even a longer life. Now, Bentall's gift to strangers will help 100 plus people in need of bone and tissue transplants. He is survived by his parents, grandparents, seven siblings, and 10 nieces and nephews. Eric Crest, NBC 26.